Hello, in this video I will go over how you can use PowerPoint on a basic level. I believe it is PowerPoint 2016 that I have on, uh, have on my computer. So the first thing that happens when you open it up under the home is that you get like a variety of themes to choose from. Um, you can also choose more than once just here. You can, uh, uh, so you get like a huge overview of like different themes that you can use in your presentation. Like for instance, let's just choose this. Once you are like satisfied with the color and step on your theme, you just choose that and then you have the first slide in your PowerPoint. And then you can uh, add uh, the title of whatever that it is that you are presenting. Um, and if you want to add like, you know, your name or something, then you have like the first slide here. And then you can add uh, a picture here if you like. Um, in my opinion though, if you're like adding a picture, you can use a search function in PowerPoint to find a picture or a model or <clears throat> whatever that is you want to use here. In my opinion, though, it is always easier to just go on to Google and search because you get uh, a so much bigger overview of what you want to use. Um, but we can go over that in the next slide. You can also add like an animation to your uh, to your slide here, like uh, the random bars on your uh, on your title card. And then you have like the number that's coming up. That is just the order that the animation will come. So if you should want to like try and play it and see how it would look, then this is how the uh, animation on your title cards will look. And then you have just choose a new slide of whatever uh, where, where you will like have the main thing or start having the main thing about what you are talking about in your presentation. Um, and then keywords for what it is that you want to talk about, whether it being the budget or the organization. I don't know if that is with a C or what it is. <laughs> um, the economy. And uh, whatever else keywords you can think about. At this point, you can also add other stuff like um, a chart uh, to show some statistics. Then we'll just look at this, and you get uh, numbers. If you like, talk about sales number or economy or expenses, then you could add all these in these numbers, and it will uh, show up here. Like for instance, expenses. And the name will, of course, change uh, under here, where it says category one to expenses. Expenses, income, see it changing here. Workforce. Or in total sales, for instance. And then there you, there you have it. And then you can choose to have what size it is that you want to have. Maybe like a size that won't take up the whole screen. Um, and there, there you have like then your next slide. You can also add uh, an animation to all of this, like. Um, Let's use the random bars just for an example here. Um, you can also have the animation pop up with the picture that you're having here on the chart. So now you can see how this looks in the presentation mode. And uh, there you have the type cards in the first one. And then the second one where you have the nice animations come up. Now the only, the only con I could say about this is that uh, 
these animations won't follow with if you are, for instance, um, saving this PowerPoint presentation in a PDF uh, PDF format. So then it will just like look normal and everything will just pop up and that is like the most normal thing because if you're like mailing the PowerPoint presentations in a PDF format, um, then you can mail it all to, to any mail that you would like. While uh, if you want to mail the entire PowerPoint presentation, then it's not all um, emails that uh, emails uh, that um, we allow you to to send uh, that big of size. Um, so let's just take another slide here and continue. So then you have the second part of your presentation. Uh, and your keywords for what you want to talk about. Now, if you don't want to add like a chart, you can also also add like other stuff, like a hierarchy model for what you want to talk about. Um, and how you do that is that you go again back to the insert thing, and you can um, go into the smart art, and you can choose from this list here. But like the, the list models, the process models, cycle, hierarchy, uh, the pyramid, depending on like, you know, what you feel like is the best fitting for your presentation. So for instance, if you're talking about like an organization or your company, you could then like add this, make it a little smaller, more fitting, and then, um, see how your organization is uh, set up if you're the CEO on top one and then maybe manager one Oops, spelling error there manager two and your workers and uh, sellers or what is below the managers in your organization um, if you don't want to use these charts or or, uh, or these uh, models, you can also just use a regular picture. Like I said, I always think that it is better to grab the pictures online from Google because of the massive overview that you have. So um, uh, I will show you how to do that in a moment. And then you get the keywords you want to like, talk about. And uh, again, you can like add animations here if you want to by like clicking on the animations uh, tab. So, if you want to add like a picture, you could just go onto Google and you uh, grab whatever picture that it is that you uh, want. For instance, just type in business models and click on the images thing. You can download. Whatever you see is the most fitting for your uh, presentation or whatever you think would look cool in the meeting room. I have like taking a few and then you can just uh, minimize it if you like put it on desktop and um, add whatever you feel is the most fitting. You also get this though. Like this is a huge problem, uh, pro with uh, with adding the, the pictures because you can choose now a different layout. Like, you know, if you want like the, to fill like half the picture or half the slide, you can also choose to fill the entire slide, I believe. Now it's a little weird. Um, But yeah, then you like have a different different ways to use your your picture here. Uh, you can also add animation on the picture, having that pop up with the, for instance, the random bars uh, thing for an example. Then you just have these come up, random bars, random bars on all your keywords, and um, to add this in your picture, all you need to do is to uh, just click the picture. And then choose the animations you want. You can also use another animation if you want to, like grow and turn. 
Sure. Um, and then if you only like have five slides, you can just uh, take your take your time picking what you want of like a picture if you don't want the standard background. Uh, personally, I like nature pictures, especially like for the last for the last slide. So let's see what happens if I just because like we didn't get this the last time I tried it. There. Now let's see. Uh, so that was a little. Aware that you now are not allowed to choose the entire picture as the layout. But then you can do it this way, I think. Yeah, then you could just do it this way. Like just make the entire picture filled full slide and then uh, uh, click on the text box thing and then say, and then write whatever you want. Thank you for your attention phone number, email, contact info, whatever you want. Um, and then you can just make that as large as you want by like going at the home, clicking on the text type if you want like another font for your text or a bigger size or smaller size, whatever floats your boat. Um, you can also drag it out there so you have it all on one line. And you can have a nice animation there if you want to. Um, maybe the same. Yeah. So now we can see how this entire thing looks from the beginning. And then you have your animations coming up if you have chosen any animations for it. Uh, and then your charts coming up to, uh, in the, your models and then your picture if you're chosen a picture instead of a model maybe on one of your slides and then your last picture and that was it for my basic presentation on how you can use uh, PowerPoint you um, can just write to me or write a comment of uh, what you would like to see next or if you would want a more detailed uh, version of how you can use PowerPoint because there's a lot you can use. You can use also slide masters. Um, you can use um, uh, hyperlinks to like link directly to your Excel document showing calculations. Whatever you want. It is possibilities are almost endless with PowerPoint. So um, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think.